welcome back so uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick video but we're just gonna talk about how to pack and go uh, if you notice a lot of your assignments you have to pack and go the files uh, you know that's so that I can easily open up these things so like you know if you have an assembly or a drawing uh, you're responsible for turning in well everything that's included so you know this part that's one file uh, and so on so you know you've got like a a good chance to mess up if you're not using pack and go because you're expected to turn in this assembly and these parts a lot of people uh, they tend to turn in just the assembly thinking well that includes everything but no it doesn't each file is a separate piece and if you had uh, a PDM of some sort such as like Autodesk vault uh, you know you would have a vault tab and you'd be able to see like oh hey all these files are included but the easiest way to prevent any kind of way of missing one instead of trying to attach every file is to do a pack and go and what happens is it takes everything that's included from a reference thing that you're using to do the pack and go so like in this case uh, the assembly it would take that assembly and look for all the files related and it would put them in a folder and then you would just attach that folder so it's a, uh, a great option to use to send things <clears throat> and one of the perks of it is say you know you've got these parts in uh, a separate folder from the assembly well you can actually set it to pack and go everything into one folder as well so it's great for file consolidation uh, but you know so like the general idea to use pack and go is go to the top level uh, parent so you know like say these parts they are children to the assembly because they are within it so if you were doing an assembly at your highest level you would pack and go it but if you have a drawing uh, with your assembly in it you would actually pack and go the drawing so it all depends on you know what you're doing but if you're doing assembly drawings then yeah open the assembly into a pack and go uh, but let's get right into it so you would hit file save as pack and go and then you're prompted with this dialog box and there's a lot going on here uh, but it's pretty straightforward so like you've got your source file and basically what it's saying is like you know we're looking at gyroscope over here this gyroscope assembly uh, so then we've got to choose a folder for it to go to and uh, ironically I've <laughs> I've done this in the past and I always just use a trash folder because I end up throwing these away but I'm gonna make a new folder and uh, I'll just call it gyro gyroscope should be able to rename it there we go all right so you would just give it a name and then I feel like it's not gonna rename it there we go I must have hit a button earlier okay so now I've got it and I will just click it because you know down here when I click it's basically gonna uh, you know give a name for whatever it is so if I would have just hit okay it would have just not made a folder probably so anyway uh, we'll hit okay and then so now we've got these two figured out uh, all we need to do here is hit search and what it's gonna do is find those reference files like I talked about so we've got the assembly and the parts and it's always good to uh, visually check and make sure everything's there it's gonna most likely pull it but uh, you know just to make sure you're not having to resubmit or anything just double check while you're looking uh, so next we have the options over here to copy to a single path or keep path or keep the uh, original folder hierarchy for your purposes I want you to make sure to click copy to single path that way if you have your files everywhere I'm not gonna get a folder with a bunch of folders in it I'll just get the original uh, you know single path that I'm looking for and uh, on that note I guess I should have mentioned when you're doing that destination folder make sure above all else the most important takeaway today is you need to choose a folder wherever you're going because when you make these files if you don't choose a folder to put it in it's going to just put all those files randomly everywhere so like if I had just chosen desktop it would put all eight of those folder files just on the desktop casually and like that would be okay but then you're gonna have to manually move them to a folder and then make it a zip folder which is a pain so make sure you're making a new folder and putting it in there uh, whenever you do this so make sure include link files is checked and as you see by default it is 
and technically you can skip libraries uh, it's only pulling like uh, lighting styles and uh, some drawing templates stuff like that but let's go ahead and just leave it unchecked uh, we can skip the styles and templates but I do want you to check packages zip whenever you're turning in via blackboard if you don't have it checked to be a zip folder it actually won't even turn in like it won't even give you the option it'll just try to open the folder uh, also it's easier for me if it's zipped as well because the memory size so we did search uh, the next thing we're gonna do is um, do a search down here so if you in particular you know you have your folder files everywhere and it's not just in that one file like I was talking about if you didn't have a single hierarchy you could go and just say like search the main area so for me I keep all my drafts and stuff on a flash drive so uh, I could just say you know search the flash drive for any additional files that I may have not gotten from the original reference file search and naturally uh, if you have a, a pretty substantial area like I do it might take some time a long time <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and hit cancel because I actually know that there's none but you know yours would pop up and it would just be like search done found nothing extra most likely I mean you know the majority of your time you're not gonna have this issue but it's always good to do a secondary search uh, and then after that whenever you're confident that everything is there you'll just hit start and ignore that and then as soon as you see done where you can actually click on it it's actually already completed it so now if we were to journey over to the desktop you know you would have a folder suddenly it was on my other window but you know you've got your zip folder there you can see the little zipper and if I were to double click it you can see everything included in it and you know this is separate from the original file so it's actually a copy uh, of the actual assignment itself and that's pretty much it you know now you've got it all bundled nice and neatly you could actually go into blackboard and just uh, attach this file and call it a day uh, that's gonna wrap up this video thanks everybody